Welcome, honor guests, to the land of TMS. I am the busybody baroness, and this is a comment video from work. Another one. All right. Oh, I forgot to mention the Super Bowl yesterday. I didn't watch the game. Um, I know that Kansas and the green and they were green and black. The um, the birds, the Eagles uh, was playing. I, I think Kansas won. I be messing with my friend, right? So if he said watching football, I'm like, well, whoever get uh, three sevens first automatically win, because that's usually how it happened. Well, apparently the bird team, the uh, eagle team, ended up getting three sevens first because he couldn't wait to call to tell me how wrong I was on that. Well, the other team, the Kansas um, people won, so congratulations if that's your team, and better luck next time if your team lost. Uh, the halftime show, I watched, um, that's really what most of us tune in for, the halftime show. I'm familiar with a lot of Rihanna songs. Uh, I don't know. It was all right. I've seen, you know, we done seen so many halftime shows in our lifetime. You know, I've, I've seen better and I've seen worse. So, you know, she did a good job. She's got a very large catalog and congratulations to her on that baby. But... Yeah, the only reason why I brought it up because, um, you know, it was kind of like pe some people liked it, some people didn't like the performance. I thought it was okay. She's never been one for a big, um, you know, big stage performance. It's always really just been about her songs and her singing. Like, she's never given us Beyonce type performances. But I thought for what it was, and listen, by her being pregnant and she was on a swinging platform, I wouldn't have did it not pregnant. So good for her. But just let me know, did your team win? Do you care? Did you watch? I watched enough of it to see, um, and my friend told me who won, and um, I watched a little bit of the the halftime, and then I went on and was seeing about my son. Uh, okay, let's see. I think Deborah was first. Y'all know I be stalling sometime to get to my spot. Don't judge me. Deborah, yep, she first. She says, I'm happy that Willow didn't take that necklace. No breaks. Leave it all on Nina. And she says, question, y'all, if Willow dies and Michael and his mom go to jail, won't Nina get both the kids? Then she will shut up and maybe then go back to work just to get away from the kids. Um, I think if something happened... It's enough quarter minutes. Olivia, Ned, Mon because what it is, uh, Nina wasn't even qualified, or Sonny wasn't qualified enough to even be the guardian of Sasha of her money. So I really don't see them being in charge of the kids at all. Seriously, what says maybe Stella's, maybe Stella's Curtis's biological mother. That's why she has stayed so close. You're not the first person that said that. It is certainly a possibility that Stella is his mom. But who would his dad be if it's not Marshall? And does Marshall even know? Cindy says the hook. Oh, you know what? Let me, let me hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What if? Because Marshall did go away. Maybe um, the sister raised the son, you know, raising for her. I don't know. You know, that could possibly be true. Cindy says the Hook storyline is a boss. I think they could have done so much more with it. The Hook went after Joss twice, but she walks around like she's unconcerned. She goes out alone to visit Dex. Nobody in Port Charles seems very upset about the Hook, but the previews for this week and next week look very good, so I guess we have to just take the bitter with this week. Yeah, nobody seems to be very concerned. Um, Joss should be heavily watched. It seems like every time we see her, we should see a bodyguard near her. Um, they don't seem to be taking it seriously. Maybe they have that much confidence in Jordan and her team. I don't know. I just know that they need to wrap this up. Like, it's getting a little bit irritating at this point. Yeah, we know who the hook killer is supposed to be. So, come on, let's let's catch them, lock them up. Let's do something so we can move on to something else. LaShanta says, um, Jordan said her piece and that Portia noticed Stella knows. Yep. Spencer is in is an entitled jerk. Liz is getting on my nerves with that doom and gloom. Carly asked Willow to speak with Obrecht, but she can um but she can bridge a gap between Nina and Willow because of bad blood. Because of Nina, Nina is all at the wedding harassing Drew about Carly. Yes. Nina well, you know, her and Lisa said they was gonna try to dig up something because Nina felt like that Carly and Drew was hiding something. Um, Carly, I think she did an excellent job. I think I said in the other video, she did an excellent job, um, 
for reaching out and being compassionate to Lisa. You know, she could have came to her like, listen, I don't owe you or need nothing. Shut up. Sorry about your daughter, but oh well. But of course, Britt saved Josh, so she feels like she owes her something. And I think that was a good idea. And I think, like I said, it's going to give um, Lisa some peace, some comfort, because Willow is a very sweet girl. And I think her and Willow, I would like to see, you know, that aunt, auntie. I know it's supposed to be her great aunt, but do you, I know, I, you know, I'm a great aunt and don't call me great aunt, <laughs> I'm just your auntie. <laughs> so, you know, it, and it's not like that. It don't feel like that. It's kind of, it's like auntie, you know what I mean? And I hope they can build a relationship. I think it'll be great. Also, and as well, though, when Lisa told Willow, she says, well, like it or not, you're one of us. The look on Carly's face was like, oh God, like really? But it's true, she is one of them for sure. And yes, Portia really needs to come clean at this point. I don't know what she's waiting on. Cindy says, I love it if Nicholas were still alive, but not sure I should get my hopes up. I really I really didn't like the way they booted him off the show. Previews for next week indicate that there may be another death at Windermere. I saw that too, but who is it? Because nobody lives there but Ava. And that's... Austin going to be there, so, and you know it's not me, because I took uh, FMLA, so I'm not working at Windermere right now, and maybe it's Dimitri, I don't know, because they haven't shown him in a long time either, so who could it be that's going to get hooked at Windermere if nobody lives there but Ava? Ms. Maxwell says, uh, praying that Casey flushes that right out of her system and heals quickly, yes. I just found out that I had a silent heart attack going to the cardiologist ASAP, they'll be scheduling tomorrow. So, ladies and gents, I'd appreciate your prayers. I love you all and thankful to my beautiful bearness for our group. Oh, my God, Miss Maxwell. Yes, Miss Maxwell is going up on the prayer group. We pray that everything will be okay. You have to keep us updated and let us know um, what your cardiologist says. And are you in any pain? Are you okay? Like, how are you feeling? Um, just let us know a little bit if you don't mind and just, you know, keep us updated. And everybody, we have to pray for Miss Maxwell. Send us is responding to you, Miss Maxwell, and says, oh, my goodness, yes, get it checked um, right away and keep us updated. Well wishes for you. Um, and then Miss Maxwell responds to Sentence and says, um, thank you. It was a shocker. It showed up on the EKG after me having chest pains. I didn't even know the EKGs could show past attacks, but they can. I'm off. Of cholesterol for now I'm, I'm sorry now for sure this southern girl is going to miss fried foods oh I'm sure but you know we got to do what's the best for you and then send this response that says Miss Maxwell I don't know that I didn't know that either I'm glad you shared this yeah with the hen house if this information can help all of us it certainly can because I eat a lot of fried stuff too and yeah i do need to like i'm sitting here eating something i ain't supposed to now as soon as i'm done recording this i'm probably gonna wolf it down um but yeah we certainly have you in our prayers and please keep us updated miss maxwell is responding to you again and she says i'm in my late 50s and should have gotten my heart checked by now um since heart issues are inherent please everyone think about checking on your heart health yeah yeah that is something it runs in my family too i do need to after this, I I do need to take care of myself. I think I will make an appointment after I see about my son. Um, and Otherworldly is responding and says, at Miss Maxwell, same with me. I'm in my stroke. In 2021, I had no clue until my supervisor asked me why my face was swollen and my eye was puffy. Our boss said, call my doctor um, who scheduled an MRI. And that's, so see, we work so much and take care of everybody else. We really do neglect ourselves. We kind of just dismiss our little aches and pains and stuff until it becomes something serious. Um, Ms. Maxwell is responding again. She says that otherworldly, I have tremendous faith as, uh, as well, darling, and I'm so thankful for your testimony and as to my strength and faith. Oftentimes, we who put others first, yet forget to take good care of ourselves. These circumstances are certain reminders Um that you're still taking great care of you. That's true. We all do need to take better care of ourselves. We always running around for everybody else. Um, yeah, it did kind of like light a spark. Thanks for that, Miss Maxwell. And again, of course, you're in our prayers and please keep us updated. And yeah, let's all get checked out. Make sure that we top notch if that's not something that you regularly do see about yourself because I do need to put myself on the priority list. 
Sandy Moon is next and says, Nicholas is not dead. How many times has he already came back from the dead? Nicholas and Ryan are together uh, plotting how to torture Ava. <laughs> Probably so. I think Jordan finally got to Portia. I think Portia will stop the wedding and tell the truth. Do you think so? Because I don't. it doesn't look like anybody else is going to stop that wedding. And then I thought we saw something in the preview. Let me know if I'm wrong. Do we see something in the preview about her saying that she needed to talk to him or something? Maybe she will be the one to spill the beans on herself. And if she does, we know he's not going to forgive her. We already know. And then how long is it going to be before they tell Trina? She's going to tell him. And she's going to tell him and Trina at the same time. How is that going to work? Jerry Robinson says, I don't think Austin is involved with Nicholas, um, but maybe Mason is keeping him alive. That's what I said, too. It would make more sense for Mason to keep him alive because he can get something out of it. Lisa Wiles is in the house. Hey, Lisa. She says, I really hope the truth comes out before the wedding. I think that's why Jordan is at the church <laughs> knocking on Portia's door. Curtis uh, Curtis world is about to be turned upside down. Yeah, well, Jordan gave her a choice. She's like, listen, how long are you going to let this go on? Why don't you just tell the truth? She told him, she said, yes, I do love Curtis. I love him because I want him to be happy. And if you don't tell him the truth, you're going to make him unhappy. Tell him the truth. Give him a chance. Hey, Dara. Dara says, what if um, Nicholas... Hold on, make it big. What if Nicholas was fake, evil, lookalike look alike Nicholas from the past and TC is the real Nicholas that would Tyler Christopher um that would explain the way Nicholas has been acting the past few years do y'all think they would pull that again y'all know they love doing doppelgangers and stuff like that y'all see how they did with the Anna thing mm. Well, if that was the case, though, Victor would have been able to control him better, right? He would have been, he would have did everything Victor told him to do. But that is a good possibility. Put it in the comments. I, one thing for sure, I really don't think Nicholas is dead. The question is, where is he and who's helping him at this point? Because this isn't something that he planned. He went over there out of anger to confront Ava. And she was like, you ain't taking my kid, boop. And so, of course, Nicholas being Nicholas probably was like, okay, let me use this to my advantage, but somebody has to help him, and I wonder who it is. Deborah J says, Laura is almost out of her FMLA. <laughs> FMLA leave, go to work, Mayor, because your son is still alive. And she says, Baroness, it sounds like a family feud going on. That way, it sounds like good watching. Yeah, the stories are really getting good. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen between Portia's brother because he looks like he is up to something already, y'all. I don't know who he going to get into it, who is going to be his first, you know, enemy. Is him and Curtis might get into it because Curtis is going to definitely shun Portia after this. And like I said in the last video, I think um, the brother knows too. I really do. Eileen says, yes, the baby are twin boys. Oh, okay. They're talking about Michael and the baby. We figured they were twins. It's hard to say if they use girls or boys nowadays because I always, every time I see little twin babies, I always go back to the Olsen twins and um, Tia and Tamir. Um, Cindy, I think. Yep. Cindy says, Portia's wedding dress is very pretty, but I think it shows a little too much cleavage. Maybe that's the style of the dress these days, but I think it would be good to have a little more cover-up, especially since it's a church wedding. And Penny says, agreed, and I think she needed something on her hair, a headband, a little tiara, something pretty. Didn't she have a veil? Well, she did have on a veil. So she did walk down the aisle with a veil on. I like the dress. I thought it was cute. All right, you guys, that's going to end it for this one. Thanks for listening to me, Jen Hens. Please leave a like before you leave, and I'll catch you in the comments.